when we talk about sphere of influence in the region, we must look at the sphere of influence over a period of time. And we must acknowledge that the Bruneian Kingdom ruled over much of the Sulu Archipelago and Northern Philippines, including the founding of Manila which they ruled over for a short period of time before the Spanish arrived. All this begins after Majapahit rule sort of collapses and then Brunei exclusively sort of replaces the Majapahit uh, empire and is able to collect tribute from many of the smaller kingdoms in the Sulu archipelago, such as Holo, Basilan and Tawi-Tawi, sort of in the mid-1400s. Brunei exerts itself you know, once it's free of rule from the Majapahit Empire, it exerts itself as a center of Islam, a center of trade, and is an ambitious sultanate. But all these changes by 1577, because once the Spanish arrive and they conquer Manila, mistakes made by the Spanish allow for a revival of the Sulu Sultanate on Holo Island. And then there's a call to arms by the Sulu Sultanate to fellow Tausang and Bajau Samal Islanders to defend Islam. And this continues for the next 300 years. It's a war of religion. And um, although at times the Spanish commit punitive expeditions and are able to defeat the Sulus and many of their allies, treaties of friendship and cooperation are signed over this 300-year period at least five times. But the problem with this is every time the Spanish leave, the treaties are ignored, and the Zulus go back to doing what they previously were doing, which includes piracy, kidnapping, attacking uh, villages in the North Philippines, um, and kidnapping for ransom, or kidnapping to sell as slaves, uh, natives that they have um, captured from these uh, isolated villages along the coastline of the Philippines. Brunei itself is raided a number of times by the Spanish, and even captured for a short period of time. But the Bruneians are able to push the Spanish out. The Brunei nobility and its warriors eventually defeat the Spanish. But this comes after a large naval defeat uh, in which the Brunei navy suffers a heavy defeat. Um, But in the end, despite the fact that Brunei is captured by the Spanish, the Bruneians are able to defeat the Spanish. We also need to acknowledge that by the early 1600s, Brunei no longer has the sort of influence it once had over the Sulu archipelago. And whatever influence it does have is merely together as a united front with the Sulu Sultanate against the Spanish to protect Islam. You know, in what I would describe as a Southeast Asian version of the Crusades. Brunei has, by this juncture, lost all influence in the Sulu archipelago and the Sulus are no longer vassals of the Bruneians. They're no longer paying tribute to the Bruneians by this period of time.